From stealing vehicles right off a dealership lot in Graham to terrifying incidents involving carjackings at gunpoint in Winston-Salem, we've covered numerous cases of car thefts happening across the Piedmont in recent weeks. However, what's really called our attention in the past 24 hours is the unusual theft of not one, but two marked company vehicles. Both thefts have sparked chases with law enforcement from various jurisdictions, ultimately leading to dramatic crashes. Fox State's Elijah Skipper tells us what led up to these pursuits and the moments that unfolded next. I work for Duke Energy and we're down here on our lot and somebody just jumped in our bucket truck and stole it. The search for the stolen Duke Energy truck began Monday afternoon on Friendly Avenue in Greensboro. They ran right through the gate, knocked the gate down. Our management contracted. The Ford F-550 Super Bucket Truck weaving through local neighborhoods. Vehicle last seen over Westwood over now coming up on Walker Avenue. Vehicle's now coming up on Meadowwood Street. And hitting other vehicles on the road. Somebody um, just hit us, Duke Energy truck. It hit us and ran on off the road. It just went foolish on the road and, and just left. The damage rising. I should just bump 50 the police vehicle. Just hit my vehicle. Until the chase was called off. Just let them follow behind. Just give it, kill your blue light. Nobody 1080. Cancel with 1080. Give it some space. She's just going to end up hurting somebody. Almost an hour later, the vehicle would be found in Elon fleeing from police before crashing into a tree. Inside the truck, officers found an unconscious Jasmine Lachey Hampton, who they say during her arrest assaulted several officers and damaged a patrol car window. A day later, an eerily similar incident. A patrol pursuing a stolen truck from a construction company based in Albemarle up I-85 before crashing near South Main Street in Archdale. Highway Patrol still investigating. Elijah Skipper, Fox 8 News. Trooper te troopers tell us a man from Charlotte was the driver of that truck and he's being treated at a hospital and will face charges. The driver of the Duke Energy vehicle, Jasmine Hampton, is out of the hospital. She's being held on a $95,000 bond.